One of the most intriguing guys out of this draft for the Cowboys is Deuce Vaughn, number 42. Will he be able to fill in some of those voided areas? And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I truly believe that he got the heart of the lion, right? And he's a guy that works through and through. He will leave no meat left on the bone. I get it. We heard this before. But his mindset, his mentality, already knowing that he is always overlooked, right? Technically, the dude is five foot six. And on top of that, the Cowboys, we need a guy with that type of mentality to say, hey, I leave nothing left on the table. I'm going to showcase my talent that I belong here. And yes, I am the underdog, the ultimate underdog over here for the Cowboys. And the greatest thing of it all, we're not leaning on him to be the end all be all, believe it or not. You still have Tony Pollard. You still have Malik Davis or Rojo. You still have the Rico Dido. Whatever it may be, you can look back at this and still say, hey, all we need him to do is to have a few reps, right? And contextualize it like this, Cowboy Nation. Ezekiel Elliott rookie year, we pretty much had six running backs. One can argue seven if you include Lucky Whitehead, but that's a story of another day because I know he was a wide receiver, but they used that end around route for him a lot. I can see this team utilizing plenty of running backs for the 2023 as a rotation situation. Brian Schottenheimer, he loved to run the rock, and we all know we're going to have a different flow of offense. We're going to run to open up the pass, and it's about to get real nice for us, Cowboy Nation. And I can't wait to see the splashes that Deuce Vaughn will present out there on the field. He got to earn that star. You guys know that that's how that goes, right? But neither here nor there. Be sure to let me know how you feel. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.